Hey there. Start here. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, I hope 2024 brings all of you uh, good health, happiness, and uh, some new exciting adventures. Uh, always nice to have something new going on each year. Um, you know, for me, obviously, it's uh, it's uh, a, a, a year... A full year with with two children that'll be something very very new and exciting um, but anyways something else uh, new is that I happen to pick up a, uh, a barrel on the video ad summons uh, just the other day so I figured you know I, I was I was gonna do another um, rank one clear with uh, with Genesis but I decided I, I wanted to try out barrel because you know he's he's pretty cute um i figured i'd give him a shot and was able to uh do a rank one clear with the following team um i i, I know a lot of clears out there use uh, melissa for this one uh, melissa is of course great because she's got two killers the beast and the human killer and the mitigations that line up but if you've got barrel you don't need melissa barrel basically does what melissa does on this party um and brings damage along the way so um this is going to be a, a much faster clear than my my previous one this will only be a nine turn clear whereas my previous one was 15 turns um so hopefully this one will go nice and quick i'll show you the gear at the end just to make sure that everything works out so let's get in there All right. So the first couple turns are just uh, some setup turns. If you saw, you know, if you've seen any clear video of this boss, you know the boss basically has a three-turn rotation, um, and every three turns he's basically open for uh, for for damage. So he, he's got defense and spirit buffs. Sometimes has some um, some mitigation buffs up as well on you know, for two turns and then is open for damage on the third turn. So that's basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do, you know, we're gonna do damage every three turns. Um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use Barrel's normal uh, normal LB uh, because it does a mod boost for one. It does a mod boost to his Brave Shifted LB, which is his stronger limit burst, but it also does mitigations. And this is something that Melissa would normally do on the party. So in my previous clears, um, you know, Melissa was was providing the beast and human mitigation. Here, um, Barrel is going to be providing that for us. Okay. Now, before I send that, we want to, of course, imbue them. We're going to use two different elements in this, uh, in this fight. So for the first burst, we're going to do fire. For the second and third burst, we're going to do earth, because that's obviously a stronger element uh, for this fight. But for the first one, we're going to go ahead and set up and do a fire burst. So we'll do Crimson Undermine, Blaze Weapon, um, and Daunting Aura. Okay, so that'll do the breaks, the imperils. Blaze Weapon will start the fire ramp for the party. All right, so we have our 100% amp on turn three for our first burst. Now Barrel can go ahead and go so that he hits the boss with fire. Okay, Elena is going to do her cover. She'll do her Sanctuary of the Azure Crystal, so that means she now has 80% magic mitigation to all three races. Um, so she's going to be very tanky um, for these first three turns. And then with this power for the 200% um, uh, ice buff. All right, Malfazi on this turn. Um, we're going to do um, Triple Rapid Peck and Strong Headwinds. The reason why we do that is because it does a 1,000 morale fill we don't really care it's not going to do anything else for us like we're not going to imbue the boss because the boss is doing nothing but magic damage so we're not imbuing the boss uh, with anything um it's just for the morale fill all right okay so she can do that uh sukiko will do her blessed omamori prayer of um protection and uh pur prayer of purification for morale fill all right, Sylvia will go ahead and start with her burgeoning defense for the 85% mitts. Um, Paladin's Resolve, oops, sorry, actually Compassionate Knight to make sure we have our break and ailment resists up. And Elemental Vines for the, uh, the Earth buff and the Magic Mitigation. Okay, and you see filling morale is not really a big deal in this fight. 
okay? And with all those mitigations, Elena, like, really doesn't take that much damage. There will be a couple of turns where she's a bit squishier, where, like, you know, some of the mitigations fall off, but um, we're not too worried about that. All right, Sukiko so on this turn, is going to charge up her fire, all right, with her firestorm, so that charges up her blazing karmic. Um, Sylvie's going to go ahead and shift. All right, we're going to do the demon killer on uh, Hio, since, you know, fire is his element, he'll be a bit stronger on this burst. It's not going to be like a, it's not going to be a, a big burst um, by any means, but, you know, it, it's, uh, it's going to be what it's going to be. All right, and then we'll just do double cheerful paladin strike for morale fill. Um, Barrel is just going to do triple condemned guilt because that will fill up his LB. It does 20 LB fill for each one, plus some morale fill. Um, Malfazy is going to do triple rapid peck and dreams of flying, which does the mag store. Okay. Uh, Heo can just do, we'll do refine stance. For the uh, for the fist in peril, um, ultimate flame for his 150 amp and breaker claw magic. Okay, uh, Elena will do recover, crystal echo for the uh, stat field and uh, Kiraga. Although she doesn't really need it, but you know, in case yours took a little bit more damage, she would want to cure and heal herself back up. All right, so blah, 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 I think we can do all that. All right, and that should be good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Everyone can change it up. It's not really, <clears throat> not really going to do much damage here, obviously, with all the buffs and everything. All right, so the boss basically alternates between doing non-elemental and elemental damage. So this is an elemental damage turn, but we have all of our buffs up, so the damage is very minimal. Um, even the uncoverable magic damage does very little damage to our party. All right, so now we're just going to do some LBs. Barrel can shift and do his brave shifted LB. Sylvie does her Brave Shift at LB for all the buffs. Sukiko does Blazing Karmic. Elena will do her LB. And her LB... Um, Elena's just going to stay in normal form this whole fight. We don't need to use her Brave Shift form at all. She's just going to stay in normal form and use her LB um, every three turns to make sure that we maintain our mitigations. Okay? Because she is kind of... Without Melissa on the party, she is kind of the one maintaining the mitigations for the party. Um, and so it's pretty important to do her normal LB every three turns. All right, so yeah, we're just going to train it up. You know, the idea is just to do a bit of chip damage here. You actually don't want to deal too much damage. I'm, I'm hoping to stay above 75% because I do not want to push that first threshold because that's the worst one. So pushing 75% is the worst threshold um, because he does a lot of extra attacks and it's just he gets pretty nasty after passing that first threshold. So I'm hoping to do, you know, be somewhere between 76 and 80% HP on this turn. Let's see how we do. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yep. So about three bill, that's pretty typical. And that and that's right where I want to be. Alright, our next burst will be much bigger. Um, I, I expect to hit the damage cap both of the next two bursts. Our final burst is going to be our biggest one. Alright. Okay, so Sylvie needs to re-up um, just gonna do I've got your back on barrel to refill him because the boss needs to be hit with uh, with LB damage on this turn okay that is critical she'll then do Marion's blessing earth we're gonna start our earth ramp and um, we'll just do clever paladin strike okay so I'm gonna go ahead and shift barrel back to normal okay he's refilled so he can do his LB again, because we need to make sure we do that every, every you know, three turns, right? So that's just going to be sort of our normal setup. It does his mod boost, and it does the mitigations for everybody to keep everybody alive. Okay, so he's just going to go ahead and do that. 
Uh, Malfazy can just do rapid pecks. Okay. Shouldn't deal too much damage that we need to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do a whole lot of chaining here because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to deal too much damage to the boss. Okay, and Elena, just to make sure she uh, she can survive, we'll do Celestial Guard. All right, Benediction, because the boss is going to do a lot of uh, non-elemental damage on this turn. And we'll do uh, Barb Lizage. Uh, okay, Heo can come back. He will do. Um, he can just... He can just chain on this turn, really. He doesn't really need to do anything else. Okay, Sukiko can come back. All right, she can do Prayer of Purification. We'll do Maiden's Consecration Earth. And Purging Mandala Earth. Because we're switching to Earth Element now, so we, we want the Earth and Peril Field. Okay, so we're in good shape there. All right, Elena tanking it like a champ. All right, so Beryl is going to now do um, All Ye Faithful for the Earth Amp, and then Stuffed Animal uh, heaven mode for the beast killer. So they finally did beast killers for the whole party, which I love. All right, I love units that do that. Okay, so he'll do that. Ba -ba -ba. Um, Heo uh, can just, I guess he'll just chain it up again. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Was that, was that what I was going to do here? Okay. Um, we'll do Rapid Peck and then Fleetwing Flyers for her Mag Store. Okay, and then we'll shift her next turn to do her Brave Shifted LB. Okay, Sylvie needs to do Demon Killer on Barrel because now it's, it's pretty much his show from here on out. Double Clever Paladin Strike. Uh, we'll do uh, just Benediction again. Um, Shelga, Kiraga. Uh, Sukiko can do a Mag Store on this one. So I gave her Magic Boost Plus. So we'll do that. We'll do a Mag Store on this turn. And I think actually Heo's... I think I want to not do too much damage, so I don't think I'm going to do anything with Heo on this turn, actually. Alright, so we'll just hold off on him, because I don't want to, I don't want to risk hitting 75%. Um, I don't think Malfazy will do it. Maybe I shouldn't, because we've already got 200% morale, so in fact, I'm not. I'm just going to do Fleetwing Flyers with Malfazy, just to give her the mag store. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to risk it. Okay. Um, and... I think that should be good. Yep. Alright, so in this turn, we got to make sure that Barrel has his LB up, so we're going to do, uh, so, ooh, we're just going to do Bar Blizzages, because, I mean, Elena's pretty much going to die on this turn anyways, um, there's not really much we can do about that, um, because we're going to pass the threshold, you know, it's just, it is what it is, um, and we want to make sure we've got LBs up and ready to go. Okay. 
okay. There we go. We're gonna shift uh, Malphazy to do a Bray shifted LB on this one because it's stronger than her normal LB. All right, Sukiko's so gonna do her LB. And Sylvia, of course, does her Bray shifted LB. All right, so we, we're definitely gonna push 75% and we should push 50% as well. Ideally, you wanna push both of those thresholds on this turn. All right, let's see how we do. So start Tsukiko first, because she's got a bit of a wind up. And then send everybody else. Yep, there we go. Looking good. All right, so just missed the damage cap on that one. No big deal. Okay. Yeah, Sukiko uh, ate it on that one, and that's perfectly fine. It honestly doesn't matter. All right, because she's going to set everything back up anyways. Blessed Omomori, Prayer of Purification, Prayer of Protection... All right, and we need to hit the boss with an LB. Elena's ready to go. Okay, um, what we'll do here is we're going to do um, arcane supplementation. Uh, we're going to do is it this one? Yeah, magic, magic mitigation. That's what we'll do. We're gonna do uh, seraphic install. Da, 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 da. And was it seraphic present? Is that what we're doing? No, that's not what we want to do. Um, maybe it was over in the other one. Is it in this one that we wanted to do that? Arcane supplementation. Traffic install. Oh wait, no. He's got to do his normal LB. What am I thinking? I'm like... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm like losing my mind over here. He's got to do his normal LB. Okay, and then uh, double clever paladin strike. We got to try and get him filled up here. Um... Okay, good news is it should only take two bar blizzages to fill him up, and then a Kiraka. Huh? And yeah, so Elena's gonna die for sure on this one, because he's gonna do a lot of non-elemental uh, damage, but that's okay. We're, we're really fine with that. Okay, and then we can start doing, uh, setting up with uh, Malphazy. So she does her killers, her skilled scavengers for the mod boost. And we'll do um, a couple of rapid pecs. All right, Heo can do Crimson Undermine for the big breaks. And uh, oh, we'll come back to his normal form. All right, Crimson Undermine and the double breakers. Okay. And that should do it. Okay, go ahead and do all that. Great. Okay, so yeah, just go ahead and send him. I think we're good there. All right, ideally, I want to try and get below 40% just to make sure that our final burst, um, you know, does the ticket. Okay, and once again, no problem there. Uh, we'll just do Benediction, Sanctuary, um, and uh, 
Shining Provocation, I think, because she needs the 75% General Mitts. Actually, no. What am I thinking? We need Benediction, Sanctuary, and uh, with this power. Okay. Sylvie will once again give Demon Killer to Barrel. Double Clever Paladin. All right, and then we'll just do triple rapid peck. Dreams of flying for the mag store. Heo can just do, can just chain it up. Again, we'll do a little bit of damage here. All right, barrel, we'll do arcane supplementation. Ye guilty for his 150 amp. And seraphic present for the, uh, for the 140, um, wait, sorry, wrong form. I keep, I keep mixing up his two forms. It's, um, uh, we go to his brace, do arcane supplementation, ye guilty for the 150 amp, and then sacrilegious present, which does the 140% earth in peril. Okay. And he should be good to go. So Kiko can just do a mag store. She'll do her, um, her LB next turn. Okay. And that should be everything. Looking good. Yep. I think we're good to go there. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Just gonna... Boom. Oh, I should have done the, the mag buff, but that's alright. Okay, we're below 40%, so I feel pretty good about killing this boss next turn. We're definitely gonna hit the damage cap without issue. And we're just going to throw everything but the kitchen sink at it. Alright. Just everybody does LBs. It's pretty, pretty simple and straightforward here. Alright. Everyone's got a 100% earth amp, except for Barrel, who has a 150 all right, we should be good to go. So we'll send Tsukiko. Okay. She'll start us off. And everybody else. And this should just melt the boss. Boom. Dead before the last hit. So we should be doing like well over 6 billion damage here. Yeah, wow, 7.1. Okay, so that, that's like 45, over 45% right there. Um, th that's why I was saying I wanted to be at 40% or less, because 40% is 6 billion, and I, I know I do at least 6 billion with this uh, with this team. But that was, yeah, that was a good one, 7 billion. I, you know, I'm normally doing quite a bit. So there's your rank 1 with this team. Um, you see Barrel and Heo obviously doing majority of the damage. Uh, Malfazi doing, you know, Malfazi and Tsukiko kind of chipping in there. Um, Elena doing whatever. <laughs> She's really just a chain slave and, and keeping the team alive as a tank. Um, she tanks this one very well, obviously, with her mitigations lining up nicely. So there you go. That's your rank one. Um, let's take a quick look at the gear. Okay. Uh, so Sukiko, in her normal form, has the Empress's Rod, Treasure Memorial Ring for the turn one morale fill, Magic Boost Plus, um, otherwise, you can just try and bulk her up a little bit, give her some elemental resists. That's all that she really, uh, really needs in this form. In her brace shift form, though, you definitely want to make sure, um, you know, you're gearing her for, for high mag. Make sure that you, you've uh, maxed out her Esper damage, Evo damage, LB damage, which is pretty easy to do for her. Um, she's got the Dark Visions rod, um, which means she has to have her TMR equipped. Uh, I gave her Icy Passion, that's for the Ice Resist. Um, and then she's got the Earth uh, the Earth Vision card that you get from General Pulls now. Oh, you know, you, if you're like me, you have like a dozen of these already. Um, seems to be the most common one that I get from my pulls. But that one works on her because she is Earth, uh, Earth Tagged. Alright, and that's pretty much all she's doing here. Uh, Elena, we're only looking at her normal form. We don't care about her Bracia form at all. So just build her for straight up bulk. Uh, Prophet's Diadem is great because it, it basically eliminates her MP issues. Um, but if you don't have it, you know, I recommend, I str strongly recommend using some MP reduction gear 
on her or she will have MP issues. But if you have Prophet's Diadem, that basically eliminates it. Um, celebratory Hair Orm is nice because it does uh, some HP. 50% um, HP on it. Uh, exclusive to mage units, which she is a mage, so she does get that benefit. Ash's leg armor is nice because it does do the 30% uh, MP reduction. All right. Um, other than that, I did give her the the new. This is the new materia, Cyclope Cyclopedia Mythica, um, which makes sure she always has 50% demon mitigation. Um, so you know. Unlike, I think, the one turn where she died and re-raised, she's got the demon mitigation up and ready to go. Um, it's just, you know, something. It's just a nice little backup. It's not necessary. I don't think it's necessary, actually, but it's nice to have. And then this is the ice vision card that you get from the general pool now. Um, also not required. Uh, in fact, you could probably, you know, for, for this clear, giving her something that just gives her more bulk, like something with HP on it, is probably a smarter play. But, you know... I, that, it was just on it from a previous clear, and I didn't feel like changing it, so there you go. She is maxed out on killers, however, except for the beast killer, sorry. She is maxed out on demon and human, because I have uh, what's his Esper on it, but you see we haven't really built her for damage here. She's she's not here to deal damage. She's here to tank, and that's pretty much it. All right, Heo in his normal form, you know, he's got all of his, um, all the, the clash gear. I gave him lucid lenses, because that was for a previous... Uh, previous clear build that I was trying um, and I needed a form of guts. He doesn't need it in this clear. No one's really in, the, in any danger of dying except for Elena and Tsukiko in that one case. Um, Priest Vengeance, Mystic Tenacity for some some uh, some mitigations. Um, he has Flaring Ether Reigns card in his Brave Shift form, just full on damage. Um, and yeah, just make sure he's got all the killers. I've got a form of Chain Speed on there for him as well. So he is rocking out ready to go um sylvie in both forms for the same gear double blizzard orbs to make sure that she counters so that she you know revives people on those turns where like elena or sukiko dies we got to make sure that she's there to uh to revive them so double blizzard orb just make sure that that happens um also priest vengeance for uh for the morale fill um, she does have perfect provo provocation, but I don't think she really needs it. Melissa's card for morale fill. Exact same build in both forms. All right. Uh, Malfazy in her normal form. Pretty much she's built for damage, full-on damage in both forms, because she is going to use both of her, her limit bursts in this fight. She is a trance shifter. Malfazy is easily the most swappable unit, by the way. she um, You could throw, like, Ibarra in her place. Ibarra works very well in a three-turn rotation. So um, I think... I think you could easily swap a bar in there. It, really anybody. I just chose Malfazy because she's. I have her EX3, and I, I, I like her. I, I think she's a really cool unit, so I wanted to use her. She's pretty easy to gear for this one, so especially with the Demon Killer. She's got her own 250 Demon Killer to herself, so that's kind of nice. Um, so she is full-on Killers, Beast, Demon, Human. Um, she doesn't have full LB damage. Um, I probably should have given her some more LB damage, but it's, yeah... There's some way that you can improve on, on my build. Um, and then in her Brave Shift form, yeah, again, pretty much full on. Make sure she's got all the killers. Uh, she is full LB damage in this form. Full Beast, Demon, Human killers ready to rock and roll. All right. Um, Barrel in his normal form, he's got his STMR. Uh, gave him some cow gear. He does need Magister's Ring for Chain Cat Boost. Um, and then just high attack gear. And then just make sure you fill out his killers and his LB damage um, in this form. Not that he really... He doesn't use his normal LB for, for damage. Oh, he can also use the Earth card, by the way. So I gave him another copy of the Earth card. Um, and his Brave Shift form is where you really want to make sure you're, you've filled out all of his, uh, his damage. Pretty much the same gear, though. Um, pretty much the exact same gear in both forms. So that he has full killers, full LB damage... We're ready to do. He's actually over. Well, I can actually take. <laughs> didn't realize that. I should take that uh, Mysteries of Aldor off and put something else on there. Um, so, yeah. Just because you show. I, I just picked him up, so I'm still kind of learning how to use the, the little dude, but um, he's he's pretty cool. You know, he's a cute little guy. Had fun. Had fun doing a clear with him. So, hopefully, this is helpful to you guys. Again, Happy New Year. Um, hope you guys have a great one, and I will see you on the other side.